Hey, Shalom, Shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rakahakwadash. Peace and blessings be upon the hopeful elect of Israel, 144,000 and one third remnant scattered throughout the earth. And double honors to our elders and apostles that came back in the reincarnation known as Great Millstone. I want to do this video, a quick video entitled Composure. Uh, composure. Um, and this has to do with, uh, you know, self-control and being poised in the spirit. And uh, this goes uh, also for when we're on the highways and hedges, when we're out in public doing the work. Then also in our daily lives, um, also when we're out in public in our daily lives. And then also when we're with Akim, all right, when we're just kicking it, fellowshipping, or if we're having counsel, all right. It doesn't matter any of the situation. Whatever the situation is, basically, even on the job, you have to keep some form of composure, and that's a vital ingredient in this truth, because without that, you won't be able to um, execute the, the discernment that Yahweh Bashim Shah has given us uh, properly. Now, this is composure uh, on the Edom Online 1600. It says, composition, act of composing, constructing an arrangement with many senses now given to compound from composed and then er. It says a sense of tranquility, calmness, composed state of mind, uh, first recorded 1600s, from composed, calm, for sense compared, fall apart, lose one's composure. So, you know, that's what uh, Edom Online has to offer. Um, but I want to get a few scriptures that came to our mind as well. Because this past weekend we had a uh, we had an Israelite um, come past the camp. And he kind of had, like, heavy spirits on him, and he was looking like he wanted to do something. You know, he had the spirit of death upon him. And we encounter these type of uh, Israelites all the time. This is something that, through experience, um, we can't lose our composure because the Lord told us, although we dwell among uh, scorpions and briars and thorns, this is a rebellious house, and we're not to be afraid of them. All right? It's Proverbs 25 and 28. He that hath no rule over his spirit... Is like a city that is broken down and without walls, and you know when you're not when you don't have composure, you kind of react really quick. And you know if you if you become a reactionary, act really quick. That's when ill-advised judgments and discernment starts happening. You know you hear something, boom, you want to try and react right away. You don't let it marinate. You don't maybe try to seek counsel. All right, and that's when you, when you're doing things like that, you're like a city that's susceptible. To be whenever it's attacked, it's going to be an easy takeover. All right, and we're battling spirits, man. We're battling pride, we're battling uh, um, uh, the the old man. You know, is is these different fights? It's these different fights that uh, we got to come back to sometimes. You know, just because you conquer one demon doesn't mean it's not going to come back and try and test you. So we got to make sure that if we ever see a breach in the city or in our mind or in our faith. Where we may get weak and, and we lose it when we lose a battle. Well, you got to remember, okay, this is this is how it played out. This is what I'm going to do the next time, all right? And have rule over your spirit. You know, have some type of composure and say, okay, I'm gonna, uh, I know how to uh, level up in the spirit, go from glory to glory, man up, and deal with this situation uh, rationally. You know, if was Yahweh Shai in this position? That's the first question. Was Yahweh Shai ever put? In this specific position, is it recorded in the scriptures or any of the men of the Lord in this position? How am I supposed to deal with this? That's how you have rule over your spirit. And then he says, like, counsel go before reason. Sometimes you may need to call a brother. Call a few brothers, all right? Because, uh, like the scripture says, a man's mind sometimes wants to tell him more than seven wise men. So we have these thoughts running through our heads. And sometimes we need to filter it through the body. Yahweh Bashim Shah has given us men, surrounded us around with uh, enough men of the Lord around us and we're in, com in constant communication with them to uh, to get that supply of the spirit, to make sure the city, the city stays strong, so to say, which is your mind, all right? So it says, if you have no rule over your own spirit, you're like a city that's already broken down. Now, I believe there's another scripture in Proverbs 16 in relation to just dealing, because look, the tensions are high in the world today. Or especially after everything that happened in this so-called election, which is a selection, a lot of people that are just out there in the world, um, you know, 
they're ready to attack. They're ready to just act and be a reactionary, all right? And we are not to be like that. Uh, let me get a, there's another scripture, uh, I think it's Proverbs and 16, and um, let's see, uh, let me see, I thought it was Proverbs 16, Ooh. yeah, 16 and 32, or right, Proverbs 16 and 32 says, he that is slow to anger is better than the mighty, now the scripture says, now there's nothing wrong with being angry. All right, that is a characteristic that Yahweh Shai had that's been passed on to the man of the Lord. Because remember, all the characteristics and the, the emotions that we feel, Yahweh Shai felt those and went through them. All right, and he showed them. All right, but it was with what? It was with composure. All right, so it's okay to be angered, but there's a way to it. You know, because I know for me personally, it takes me a while. I had to really, really, to, for me to get angry, it's like it's too late at that point. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, because cause then at that, because it takes me a while, you know. And then even then, we have to remember these scriptures because, uh, you know, it's just like a fighter. If he gets angry enough, he forgets all his training. You know, he forgets the skills and the basics. And that's how you start losing a fight. You start throwing wild punches, using moves you're not familiar with. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And before you know it, you on the mat and somebody's standing over you. We don't want to be in that position. So it says, he that is slow to anger is better than the mighty. So if someone that's mighty, all right, maybe in speech, maybe in action, maybe in the world, all right, if you're slow to anger, you're greater than that. Meaning you have composure, you're calm. You have a place, you have a sense, you have a foundation uh, or a place to find your center, so to say. I know it sounds like the world, but shit, this is what we need. You need to fight. We, we all need to, myself included. There all has, there has to be one, there has to be something it says, you know what, all right, I'm getting too hot. I need to find my center, which should be the scriptures, something in the scriptures, so to say. Say, all right, let me chill out for a minute, reassess, and then reattack, then attack the situation with judgment, you know, discernment. And like I said, this goes for on the highways and hedges, too. Sometimes when people like that do come by looking like they want to be the issuers of death, we have scriptures to calm spirits. We have there's also scriptures to rouse spirits up. There's certain words and certain things that we can say, and with a certain tone of voice, they either calm spirits down or rouse them up. But in order to use that skill, all right, in order to use that skill, it comes with experience. And part of that experience is the scripture, right, applying the scripture. He that is slow to anger is better than the mighty, and he that ruleth his spirit than he that taketh the city. All right, because if you can rule your spirit when it comes to engagement, just like the art of war, you may, you don't even have to go to war if you can uh, negotiate a peace or negotiate a way to take over the city without having to lose any men or right, put forth uh, any weapons or anything like that. And that's what we're doing right now. Ultimately, we're just using our words until you how about Shemiah Rashad shows up. Hey, and these words, these also these words also come in the form of correction. So none of us are too above correction. And when it comes to being corrected and receiving instructions. We also need to uh, keep our composure. All right, we have to keep our composure because if we believe the men that we're around are men of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, well then Yahweh Shai is speaking through them. Whether whether it comes off forward or gentle, we have to adhere. All right, we have to adhere to the admonishments that's being given. We have to maintain our composure because counsel, receiving counsel, is uh, is like a precious ointment, you know. Being being uh, ill advised, it's like someone putting rancid oil on you, especially as somebody that don't believe. All right, again, we have to keep our composures in many different situations. That's why I wanted to go into this because we're growing. You know, as we grow, the chastisements, the things that are going to happen to us in this truth, <laughs> they're going to get intense and they'll come from all different angles. All right, no, oh, that's a Sirach too. I end it here. So another, let me give an example of composure. A couple of them, actually. Um, I got two scriptures. Let me get two more scriptures. This is Spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shah. I had two. And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, Bashim Kakudash also has two more. Sirach or Ecclesiasticus chapter 2 and verse um, 4. I'm sorry, I started one. Sirach 2 and 1. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul in the past for temptation. And temptation, remember, a brother put this quote when we was doing our words of the week. He 
can only be tempted by something. A temptation is only a temptation if you allow it to be, you know? Because what that's thinking? Set thy heart, thy spirit aright, and constantly endure, and make not haste in time of trouble. In order to not make haste or make hasty decisions when you're being chastised or in the time of trouble that we're coming into, because hey, we're coming into Jacob's trouble, we're going to need the ultimate composure. Wisdom and knowledge shall be what? The stability of our time. Something that's stable is, 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 is calm. It's at peace. No matter what type of wind or turbulence, like the scripture says, the rain came and beat against the house and it fell because it wasn't founded upon a rock. It was built upon sand. You know, when you're founded upon a rock, you're able to stay more composed. You're not dealing with the building shaking. You know, your mind waving back and forth. You're not going to make haste in time of trouble, and that's what we pray. That's what we pray for. We pray that we retain our integrity and that we keep our composure no matter the circumstances. Because, again, also, we're going to be heavy betrayal and persecution is coming straight from the, our household. Yahweh Shai warned us. The scriptures warned us. We're going to be dealing with a lot of things uh, up front, face to face, you know, and that starts now, dealing with each other face to face. We got to hold our composure because we keep that love of Yahweh by Hashem. Ultimately, we love one another. That's what loving one another is, you know? Keeping our composure and doing the right thing. Our loving our brother, meaning keeping the commandments, doing right by Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and to our brothers, being charitable, all right? Making ourselves available, prioritizing Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai around our lives. That's going to help us be more composed. Having a routine that's spiritual, you know? Now, let me get this other one. Another one to keep our composure is what I just said. You got to pray. All right, you have to communicate. Um, let me just type in the scripture. I mean, this word. All right, overwhelm. Psalm 55, Psalm 61. Um, is it Psalm 61? Yeah, Psalm 61. Yeah, Psalm 61. All right, that's enough. The best way to keep your composure is to stop and offer up a sacrifice, a petition to Yahweh by Shemel Shai. To ask Yahweh through Yahweh Shah, the mediator, to send healing in the form of calming our minds down so that we can make proper discernment and assess situations rationally. All right. Psalm 61 and verse 1 it says, To the chief musician upon Niganah, the psalm of Dewata, the King David, hear my cry, O power, attend unto my prayer. From the end of the earth will I cry unto thee. When my heart is overwhelmed, meaning when you've lose, lost composure. You know, when uh, your your mind is, a lot of things are coming to your mind all at once, and you can't uh, categorize it and itemize those things and say, all right, this is what I need to focus on. This is what I don't need to focus on. So then he says this, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. That's Yahweh Shai, man. That is Yahweh Shai. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. That's Yahweh Shai. All right. So when we're overwhelmed, we got to go to Yahweh Shai. He was definitely overwhelmed all the time. But you see, he's, he, he kept his composure. It said that he humbled himself. It said The scripture said he humbled himself. And he had all the power. All right? He had all the judgment was given unto him from Yahweh. And he still kept his composure. All right? And he's the greatest example of that. So, hey, with that, I just want to give all praises to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rakakwadash. I pray and I know that you were edified and that you'll be able to keep your composure through these comforting words, all the comforting words of the Tawab Dabariam through the Spirit and uh, Shalom Walmart Barak and to the hopeful elect, double honors to our elders and apostles, a great millstone and infinite praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakaha Kudash, Shalom.